Adam Swanston from Zuka is joining me again today to talk all things pasta. We sure are. And this one's a little bit different. It's very wintry. It's yeah. sort of a, what are, we, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do a chicken and a white bean broth. Ooh. And we're going to use the uh, San Remo right. Hobbit Elbow. So okay. we're not doing a sauce. You know, it's all about a nice soupy feel. Mm, mm. We're going to make a nice stock and then we'll cook yeah. the pasta in the stock. So it's almost like a chicken soup with, yeah. with pasta in it, which yep. is really nice when it's cold weather. Beautiful. The perfect dish. Yes. What do we get started on first? All right, so first and foremost, we've got to make a nice stock. So we've got to get a whole chicken. Yep. What I'll get you to do, Justine, yes, please, is we'll get you to cut up some celery, Yes. Uh, some carrots, onion. Yep. And we've just got a mirror product. So we just... So, so small buns or yeah, do you want oh, look, fine? You know, it's bit. making a stock, so a little bit chunky. Because we're going to cook it for a good hour, hour and a half, the stocks till the chicken's actually cooked, we don't want it to fall apart. We want the flavour slowly so to come So even bigger out. than that. That's all right. That's good. Yeah. So in goes the chicken like so. So we get all that in. And remember, always use cold water. Don't ever use hot water when you're making a stock because it'll become all cloudy and all the flavours have come to the boil, so you're getting all that out of it and then let it simmer. And always skimming the top of the stock. Very Always, important. you know. Very some important. people leave it and say, oh, it's more flavour. No, no, it's not right. No. It's all the impurities that yep. come to the top of the stock. Yep. You want to take them away. And obviously, yep. this whole dish is based around this stock. Exactly. So the pasta will be cooked in it, flavours it even more. Yep. And away we go. Yep. Some bay leaves. Bay leaves. So you've got some dried, you can have fresh if you yep. like, so either way. So you've got four, four here, there. do you yep. need four? Yep. We'll put all four in. Great. Some peppercorns. Peppercorns. So why are we using whole peppercorns? Whole peppercorns. I always look, want to know this. Yeah, look, I, I, I think it's just something we've been taught, you yep. know, as a chef. It's a traditional stock and it's whole because obviously they're whole, they won't break down yep. and they hold together and just flavours the actual stock. Yeah. So right. there's about half a dozen or so in there. Yes. Then we need some more cold water. Cold water, I've got some more here. Cover your chicken and I'll get this on the go. Now it is going to reduce, so don't be scared to fill it to the top. So, you know, nice pot. It's about two or three litres worth of cold mm -hmm. water there. Put the lid on. Now, we're going to look at probably cooking from an hour to an hour and a half. Yep. Depending on the size of the chicken. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? This is probably size 18 there. Yeah. So it's 1.8 kilo. 1.8 kilos, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be a good hour and a half. All right, so we're going to bring that to the boil. boil yep. Gentle. We're going to skim all the impurities. That's it. And then we can continue. We'll cook Let the it pasta cook later. away. Cook the pasta later. All right, so... Our chicken looks cooked mm. there, Justine. So we'll just take that out of the stock. Yeah. And what we're going to do is remove this. Look at that, it's just collapsing apart. Oh, it's, so good. it's so healthy for you, a dish like this, isn't it? It is. And it just smells, it's so comforting. You feel at home whenever there's chicken soup yeah, around, isn't it? A bit of an old classic, so old, old chicken classic. soup with yeah. noodle. But what we're going to change it the white bean, yeah. the wholemeal pasta. Yeah. So you know we're doing that sense. But like yeah. I said, really healthy. Really healthy. Nice, really good for you. warm. And full of flavour, too. Exactly right. Yeah. I'll get you to strain that. Yeah, I can do You're that. You're going to strain that off. So we're going to strain off the stock. Mm, so our so vegetables. Good. What we're going to do once Justine strained it, put that back into the pot, and we're going to cook the pasta in the actual stock then. All right. OK. Here we go. Strain down. And... So okay. look at that. You can smell that oh, beautiful chicken it. base And there. these are my favourite parts. You like that? The cooked... <laughs> the the cooked, cooked veg. veggies. Yeah, they're just... Because they're so soft and they've taken on yeah. the chicken flavour. Nice. Mm. Look, add that back into the pot, yep. like so. So the wholemeal pasta, you know, it's something different. Not everybody always thinks about mm. using wholemeal. Yeah. Now, the reason why I'm using it today is to... Um, gives a really nice nuttiness mm. to that to dish as well. Because I would pasta. traditionally... I mean, if I'm looking in the store for pastas, I probably wouldn't ever go to wholemeal. But, look, I, I mean, I'm just watching how you cook and yeah. the reasons why you cook. And it's high in fibre, it's wholemeal, which is good, good for you. It hasn't been processed as much. Exactly mm. right. So let's get on to this okay. chicken. We're just going to strip the chicken back. So, look, just peel off it's the so skin. It's so soft, isn't it? You could oh, you it just is. do it with your hands. With it's your just hands. easier. Okay. So I'll get you into that. Just yep. peeling the yep. flesh off. So just look, just tear away. Yum. And there's plenty here, you know. You've got a meal on the side as well. You're going to have to start with this and keep a little bit of this mm. after, a bit of salad or something like that. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, so look, our pasta is cooked now. So at this point, we'll get yep. our white beans into the broth there, Justine. So look. Mm, yep. So let them cook out for a little bit. Yep. The silver beet. So look, you can rip it, tear it by hand, but we'll just chip them out of yeah, that, you know, that. just nice yep. and finely. So you know, things like your spinach, your silver beet, rock it all last minute. It takes all of 30 seconds to cook that through. So that silver beet, we've taken it off the stem. So, you know, obviously it's nice and tall. Just remove the leafy part that we want. This is the... 
meaty, isn't it? It's me more meaty yeah. than than uh, that's all than stem. spinach. Yeah. I'm going to add some of this chicken into there. And we didn't leave any chicken on the carcass. We <laughs> no, took it all off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mix all this together. Get that silver beat in. Yes. So, so the bring whole it up. Lot. Yeah. So bring the heat up now because you want the silver beat to cook instantly. You really want it to be nice and hot. Get those flavours in there. Mix it around. Look at that pasta. The white beet. Ah. So look, that silver beet. Look how fast just, it takes. Just wilted down yeah. from the heat of the stock. Right. And like you said, this is a meal in itself. It is. You don't need anything else. Maybe some bread. Some bread. <laughs> we'll get to that one. Yep. It's a nice big ladle. Yep. Some stock. So look at that. Silver beet wilted down. Look, Healthy. I love, I love the colours too with the, the whole meal. Yeah. What I love doing with this dish, I really enjoy putting a little bit of white balsamic. And the reason oh, right. why I do that yeah. is just to give it a little bit of acidity, that yeah. sharpness. So we'll sprinkle just a little bit. Okay, that's interesting. At the top of each soup. Lovely little idea. And some crusty bread. Mm, okay. Indeed. I don't think we should chop this, I think we should just tear it. This is a rustic dish. Yes. Let's get a couple <laughs> pieces each. Adam, that is a beautiful winter dish. Really easy to do using a different pasta. Yeah. Love it. Thank you.